Successful investing requires more than simply having a strong financial plan. It also requires grit and determination. Without being conscious of your prejudices and flaws, you're risk making emotional investment decisions. For 5 tips to make better financial decisions, keep watching this video. Chunking – Dividing large tasks into more manageable tasks The desire to be wealthy is practically universal, but figuring out how to get there might seem like an overwhelming endeavor. Here, chunking can assist you in dividing the main objective into more manageable smaller tasks. Let's say you wish to invest in equities as an example. You don't need to be an expert on the stock market to make your first investment. Instead, you may narrow your attention and thoroughly research a more narrower area of the stock market before making your investment. Before making your initial investment, you can similarly concentrate on a certain business or area such as banking, insurance, metals, and more. This chunking principle can help you reach goals that may seem too big when you first start out by helping you split down not only your financial goals but also your professional and personal ones as well. Fear setting, preparing for worst case scenarios. The best course of action is frequently to be hopeful, yet instilling dread has the opposite effect. In order to engage in fear based analysis, you must push yourself to believe that you've made a mistake and consider every possible outcome. By examining worst case situations, you can spot possible issues and take preventive measures. The 7th Step Fear Setting Framework created by Tim Ferriss is one technique to include fear setting into your decision making prowess. The 7th Step process looks like this. Step 1. Define the nightmare situation. Step 2. Determine how to fix the damage. Step 3. Which situations are some of the more likely ones? Step 4. How would you regain financial control if you were dismissed right now? Number 5. What are you putting off out of fear? Step 6. How much will delaying the action cost in terms of money, emotion, and wealth? And finally, Step 7. What are you waiting for? This exercise highlights the natural fear responses you may have when something goes wrong, but recognizing those anxieties at an early stage is the first step in overcoming them. Mistake Board Remember your mistakes and learn from them. We all make mistakes, but we frequently lose sight of them. The likelihood of making the same error again rises as a result. Making a wall of shame or mistake board is one technique to make sure you remember and learn from your mistake. This can act as a reminder of your errors to prevent you from making the same ones again. You can include the following mistakes on your mistake board as examples. Selling a stock too soon or too late buying an expensive ULIP or endowment policy, making incorrect investments based on stock tips, investing in futures and options without understanding how these work. While keeping a framed copy of the mistake board might be a great reminder, you can also try out a more subtle approach. For example, keeping a scrapbook or a diary with a list of investment mistakes you've made can also help you achieve the same end result. Inversion – Working backwards from the end result the renowned German mathematician Carl Gustav Jacobi employed the idea of inversion or working backward to arrive at a solution. Although the idea of inversion may appear illogical, it can be a useful tool for handling many financial issues. Although putting this strategy into practice might not be simple, if done right, it can help you avoid many typical investing blunders. Think about the question. What should I do to get more money as an illustration of how inversion is put into effect? The query will change to, what should I do to ruin my money after applying inversion? By giving the inverted issue some thought, you'll find yourself approaching problems entirely differently and coming up with answers that can help you accomplish your objectives just as well. The main advantage of employing inversion is that it encourages you to question held beliefs and drives you to think creatively. When you consistently practice inversion, your money as well as your personal and professional lives can significantly improve over time. Statistical Analysis – Think like a statistician Consider an ad for an anti-smoking initiative that features a 95-year-old guy lighting up a cigarette. Your initial thought upon seeing this image may be that, given the life of the heavy smoker, smoking can't be all that harmful. The anti-smoking advertisement, however, seeks to emphasize a different point – smoking kills. So how may this message be made clearer and simpler for the intended audience to understand? 
thinking like a statistician might be one approach to do this. Consider choosing a thousand people in their 90s at random from a sample of 1 million smokers and 1 million non-smokers. Given that non-smokers typically live longer than smokers, there's a good possibility that most of the 1,000 participants will be non-smokers. The majority of these people are still non-smokers, even if you were to further expand the sample size to, say, 1 million 95-year-olds. You can resist the propensity to treat exceptional events as the norm by approaching life through the lens of statistics. After all, exceptions don't accurately reflect reality. This may also prevent you from falling prey to fraudulent selling. We frequently have a tendency to concentrate on unusual events in investing as well, such as a stock price increasing 300 times in a year or an investment of $100,000 growing to $460,000 in a matter of months. These exciting events are often outliers, but they can mislead many people into believing that high-risk investments like microcap and penny stocks can yield large profits quickly. In truth, there are about a thousand stocks that have failed badly for every profitable multi-bagger. Only by thinking like a statistician do you realize this truth. Each day, we make choices about money and our personal finances, some being big, others being small. Examples include buying a cup of coffee or deciding which stock to invest in, but irrespective of the size of your investment, using these five tips can change your financial game for good.